Hello, I'm Dr. Green, CEO of Preferred Pain Center here in beautiful Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. What I want to talk to you about today is sciatica. When you have sciatica from a herniated disc, what do you do next? It really hurts. It's very painful. It's a burning type of pain that goes down your leg from where the herniated disc is pinching on the nerve, sparking up inflammation, and sending shooting pains down your leg. Well, what are you supposed to do with that? I mean, we have patients coming into our providers who are telling us that uh, um, they can't do anything, they can't work, they can't play with their kids, they can't function um, because the pain is so bad that the only thing that gives them any relief is typically laying down and pulling um, that leg up to take stretch off of the sciatic nerve. Well, we have options. At Preferred Pain Center, we have a comprehensive pain management um, specifically designed for people just like this who have sciatica. You know, there are things to do in the acute phase, which may include uh, medications like a Medrol dose pack, um, maybe a short-term uh, narcotic and a muscle relaxer. Um, and that's, you know, for medication, non steroidal anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, um, any or all of those under the care of one of our board-certified fellowship-trained pain doctors can be extremely beneficial. Also in the short term, there are some treatments that we provide, including some aspects of physical therapy, maybe spinal decompression, which can be really beneficial for a herniated disc. Um, acupuncture can also be extremely beneficial in the short to midterm for a herniated disc. Um, so those treatments, either in conjunction or singly, uh, can be very helpful. Um, and once you have the, uh, our pain doctors have the MRI and they can see exactly where the herniated disc is and the nerve root that it's pushing on, epidural injections can be very beneficial. An epidural injection involves under an x-ray machine, our pain doctor will put a needle into the epidural space. A lot of numbing medicine is used, so it's a very, very tolerable um, outpatient procedure. It can be done with no anesthesia, no IV anesthesia. Um, that means you can basically drive home. Uh, you can drive to your procedure and then drive home. Um, and you don't have uh, a lot of the effects of the IV sedation. Uh, we do IV sedation as well. So if that's uh, in the cards, then no problem. Then, so you have your uh, epidural injection. It may be that the first one gives you just mild relief and then you have the full series of three. It may take the full three to give you 80, 90% relief, but those are, they are very effective. A uh, recent study came out in the Journal of Pain Physician that showed that um, epidural injections for uh, sciatica pain at one year are 86% effective. So the patients in that study over one year received an average of four injections. So that's an average, you know, we do the math once every three months, or you could have a series of three and then not need any more ever. But, uh, so that's um, one of the treatments in the armamentarium of pain relief for sciatica. So you have medications, you have treatments at the rehab center, which I described, and then the interventional pain treatments um, as well. So solely or in conjunction, those may give you a lot of relief. Check us out on the web at www.preferredpaincenter.com. Also, I run the blog of pain at uh, blog.preferredpaincenter.com. And call us today at 602 507 6550. We get patients in very quickly. We take major medical insurance, self pay, personal injury, workers' compensation, preferred pain center. The pain stops here.